Look at this mess. This is terrible. Getting ready for our annual trip to Maryland. I always went down there during the early season. Always had a great time. It was like a tune-up in September before our October Pennsylvania crossbow season opens up. I always considered Maryland to be the early crossbow season because it's in September. And that's kind of early for me. You go down there, some of the deer are in velvet. It's fantastic. It's just a great time. For the last two years, I haven't been doing that because I've been looking for a black bear, right? been going to Maine in September for the bear hunting season. And that was my early crossbow hunt. Bungie and I got our bear. And I'm pretty excited, though, to go back to Maryland for this early season hunt. But man, I got to go through and organize all the cameras. We're leaving here tomorrow morning bright and early. I got to get all this stuff cleaned up. But I also got to put together a video for you. A video for you if you are a new crossbow hunter. Or if you're not new necessarily to crossbow hunting, perhaps this will be a video that will give you something, some ideas, right? To sort of shore up your game a little bit. To make crossbow hunting a little bit more successful for you. Now last week I did a video on quivers and that leads me to tip number one. If you're a new crossbow hunter, you want to sight in for the broadheads you're going to use for your hunting season, right? Now sighting in, I have some fancy vices that hold the crossbow and tripods, shoot tripods and rests and all that sort of thing. Frankly, you don't necessarily need that. If you're a new crossbow hunter, you should be looking at 20, maybe 30 yard shots anyway. And you can practice sighting in for those distances right off a sawhorse. I did that for the first couple of seasons with bungee, just shot off a sawhorse to sight in the crossbow. It's not ideal, but it certainly works. It certainly can get the job done and give you that confidence that you're accurate at 20 or 30 yards. Here I've got the Rage Tripan 150 greener. I love that broadhead. It's a really good one for a faster crossbow shooting around 400 feet per second, the Death Stalker that I use, Bungie the third. Loves this broadhead. It really does seem to work well on it. And that was really, believe it or not, one of the reasons I went with a faster crossbow that I was looking for a faster crossbow so I could use this broadhead. Isn't that funny? I had trouble with penetration on the older, slower bungees with those styles of broadhead. So what I'm doing here, though, is I took some old ones. You get a brand new pack of broadheads, right? If you buy a set of broadheads like this, the Swahackers, you can just uh, flip it over and there's a practice point that comes with it. Take that practice point out, sight in with that practice point. Make sure that's shooting dead on accurate with your quiver full of arrows and then switch out the practice point for the original broadhead, the actual broadhead you're going to use to hunt with. Put that on there, properly install that broadhead, good to go. With the tripans and many other models of broadheads, they don't come with these handy little practice points like that. They don't come with that. So in order to sight in, we have to kind of manufacture a one of these and turn it into a practice point. So what you might have to do, if you buy a three pack of the broadheads, you might have to take one of them and sacrifice that one. Shoot that one at the target. Keep shooting it over and over to make sure each of the arrows likes that broadhead. And then once you confirm that it's going to shoot consistently at 20, 30 yards with each arrow that you're going to put in your quiver, then you got to keep that broadhead, set it aside as a practice point. Uh, don't use it because it's not sharp anymore, right? And then you're going to hunt with the other two by another package and you can confidently, I believe, go through and shoot each of those, screw them in there and screw the new ones in and use those. You can also buy, if it comes to that, and I've started doing this this year because of inflation, you know, I can't afford anything anymore. So you can also buy replacement blades. So if you do sacrifice one of those broadheads to become your your practice tip, right, you can replace the blades on and hunt with it later on down the road. Just make sure that the the point is still nice and sharp and not dinged and bent or anything like that. Now, if you use one of these guys, these old fixed blade thing type style broadheads, you can sight in with those too. Uh, you can only sharpen them when you're done. Um, I'm not really an expert on fixed blades. I use them at the beginning of my crossbow hunting career. I don't use them anymore, but you can use those, sight in with those, make sure you're going to want to sight in with those too. Keep in mind, those may not fly the same on each one of your arrows, right? That was my experience early on, one of the reasons I switched to mechanical broadheads. But if you're going to be using fixed blades, then you're going to have to make sure that they're shooting accurately on each of your arrows in your quiver. The last thing you're going to want to do when you're sighting in is you're going to want to make sure periodically throughout the season, once a week or so, shoot again just to make sure your crossbow is still accurate. Well, we're a little bit better. Now on to part two. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are on tip number two for new crossbow hunters, and that is 
shoot every deer, right, Genevieve? Yes, sir. Yes, your first season or two, or until you really feel comfortable in the crossbow woods. Shoot every wild game animal that is legal that you are chasing every opportunity you get. Don't let your friends, your family, anybody but the law dictate what you shoot. Because if you're holding out for that big buck, you're not going to get the experience necessary under your belt. Go shoot a whole bunch of does. I'm telling you, as long as they're legal, that's a great way to build experience, to understand the process, to understand processing deer, but also to understand the shot process and that whole going into the woods, taking the animal and bringing it home with you kind of process. That's the way to understand that. You build experience and then you will find down the road that when that big buck presents itself, and it'll happen. You go out there enough, it'll happen, right Genevieve? Yep, it does. <laughs> you will have that opportunity, but you'll be prepared for it because you will have that experience under your belt. That, friends of Bungie, tip number two for new crossbow hunters. Wow, do I need to shave. Holy cow, I look terrible. But we are on day two of our Maryland hunting trip, the early crossbow season in Maryland. So that's why I look a little scroungy. We hustled around yesterday, drove down near 100 miles an hour, got all set up, rushed and got in the stand. And that young lady right there, you look like an old lady. You got like a, like a, with a quilt over your lap or something. <laughs> Air conditioning, it's either on or off, you know, in the old hotel rooms. That's just how it is. But she did a great job. She shot a nice buck last night. The video coming on that, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. But before that, we want to talk about tip number three for new crossbow hunters. And that is the third tip in this little video is don't rush the shot. If you get a shot opportunity on a big buck or any deer or any animal that you're out there after, don't rush it. Calm down. Breathe deeply and make a good shot. Make the best shot you can. Don't rush it. That, I think, is number one reason, the number one reason for bad shots, the reason things don't work out, unfortunately. It's not exactly an easy skill to acquire. Is it, Genevieve? No. No. You haven't had too much trouble. Actually, she's really good. She doesn't rush shots. Yeah. <laughs> but her dad, over the years, has rushed shots, and that's usually been the reason I've had problems. So that's tip number three. Hey, one of two deer this morning. <laughs> It was a rough one. Man, I'm a little rusty, a little rusty. But I want to throw this out as tip number four for those of you who are new crossbow hunters or just about anybody who's entering the crossbow woods. Stop worrying about broadheads. Stop worrying about broadheads. You can kill deer with mechanical broadheads. You can kill deer with fixed blade broadheads if they fly accurately out of your crossbow with your arrows. That's the important thing, right? Look at this. Look at that crossbow. The old B, the original bungee. What a perfect crossbow that is. And it's shooting 563 grain zombie slayers. And it shot them really well. It killed the deer with Swahacker broadheads. It would have done the same thing with a fixed blade broadhead, most likely, with a proper shot. We got another deer laying around here somewhere I gotta go look for. So I'm gonna leave you with that one. Focus on accuracy, not the broadheads. Before we get to Genevieve's tip for new crossbow hunters, that's a good one. It's coming up. That's tip number five. But before we get to that, I want to give you a bonus tip, all right, for new crossbow hunters. And that is, check out my book, The Death by Bungie Crossbow Method. It says right on it, strategies for crossbow hunting success. I don't care if you're new to crossbows. I don't care if you're an old hat with crossbows. That's a good book to check out. I'm a little biased, but check out my book. My number five tip for a new crossbow hunter is to set lots of realistic keyword realistic, expectations and goals for your first year as a hunter. And this can be anything as simple as shooting yourself a nice big doe, or it can be, you know, trying something that most people in your area don't do. So for instance, if everybody hunts private properties, maybe you should try out something new. Maybe you should go to public land and give that a shot. But you do need to be realistic about what you're capable of as a new hunter or else you might set yourself up for a lot of disappointment. We are back from Maryland, our safe travels, our crossbow hunting success. Genevieve's been hard at work. We've even filmed the videos of all of our fun hunts that are coming up here. A series of three videos for crossbow hunting in Maryland, 
that's coming up next right here on Death by Bungie. But before we start editing those videos, we got to get the rest of this handiwork here, Genevieve's handiwork, completed. I'm going to pick up where she left off. She's going to go take a break, and I'm going to package a little bit. And by the end of today, we will have how many coolers? Four coolers? Three. Three, Three coolers done. of meat and one cooler of hides and horns will have all that processed. I wish you nothing but the greatest of success in the crossbow woods, and I hope you'll join us right back here on Death by Bungie. Until the next time, all hail Bungie. Bungie.